It looks like Prince Harry has officially declared America his new home and has cut ties with the royal family. He officially changed his listed country of residence from the UK to the US on paperwork after his move to California with Meghan Markle in 2020. He filed a notice with the switching documents at the UK's company's house, which is connected to Travelist, his environmental tourism initiative. The change in country of residence came around the same time that the keeper of the Privy Purse announced that Harry and Meghan had vacated Frogmore Cottage, a UK residence in Windsor. Five months earlier, a spokesperson for their Archwell Foundation said that the couple had been asked to leave the residence. Quote, we can confirm the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been requested to vacate their residence at Frogmore Cottage. And this news was met with a lot of celebration from people who hated Harry and Meghan. They lived in Nottingham Cottage, a grace and favour home in the grounds of Kensington Palace, prior to getting married in May of 2018. Then they later moved to Frogmore Cottage in Home Park, Windsor. But apparently it wasn't exactly what they expected meaning the home itself wasn't up to par. Harry and Meghan talked about this in episode 4 of their Netflix docuseries, claiming that it sounds like a palace, but for them it wasn't. Harry said, as far as people were concerned, we were living in a palace, and we were in a cottage on the palace grounds. Meghan said, Kensington Palace sounds very regal. Of course it does. It says palace in the name. But Nottingham Cottage was so small. Harry then chimes in and says, the whole thing's on a slight lean. Really low ceilings, and I don't know who was there before, but they must have been very short. Megan said he would just hit his head constantly in that place because he's so tall. They also described the moment that Oprah Winfrey visited them at the cottage, looked around and said no one would ever believe it. Frogmore had been given to them by Queen Elizabeth II as a wedding present, so it reflected quite poorly on them that they were still talking about its inadequacies more than two years after they moved out. They returned a few times during visits to the UK, but it's only for special events, and we'll get into more of that later. So clearly they just weren't happy with the property at all. And perhaps that's when the couple decided to start their $3 million renovation. And as you can imagine, that didn't sit right with a lot of people. It seemed like they were more than happy to accept millions of dollars in taxpayer funds to do up their mansion while distancing themselves from the royal family and their actual duties. In response to all the public pressure, they eventually paid back the money, if only to try and get the media off their back. They wanted to make it impossible for the tabloids to criticize them under the guise of public interest. This was part of the reason Harry and Meghan wanted financial freedom so badly. They were just sick of being called out. But in all fairness, they ended up doing exactly what they said they would because they haven't benefited from UK tax funds since 2020. Meghan and Harry now live in a $15 million mansion in Montecito, California, which is where they moved in secret just a few months after stepping down as working royals. In August, Meghan was interviewed for The Cut magazine, where she opened up about their nine-bedroom home. She said, we did everything we could to get this house because you walk in and you go, joy and you exhale and it's calm and it's healing you feel free despite some pipes that needed fixing she called the mansion their safe space and it was described as a coastal peace den that reminds you of a napa vineyard but of course there was something a little pretentious about the design megan explained that on the lawn there were two massive palm trees that represent her and her husband always connective and supportive of each other the article also describes two plush club chairs in their living room that are placed side by side to resemble thrones so it's clear that they still wanted something about their home to look a little regal. But beyond its gobsmacking price, their decision to live next to US television royalty like Oprah and Ellen DeGeneres was definitely a good move. Though they still use Frogmore Cottage as a base during visits to the UK. It's where they stayed with both children in June of 2022 amid Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee festivities. And they celebrated Lily's first birthday with a backyard party at the residence. Harry stayed at the home again a few weeks later when he travelled to London to take part in that infamous phone hacking trial. During a February interview on Good Morning America, Harry was asked if he was enjoying life in the US, to which he said, it's amazing, I love every single day. Though when he was asked if he felt American, he said no, and that he didn't know how he felt. Harry said he had considered becoming a US citizen, but it wasn't a high priority. We know that Meghan, on the other hand, planned to become a UK citizen after their wedding, but she didn't complete that notoriously lengthy process because she said that it was too difficult. On her own podcast, she said that she had no idea the citizenship exam would be so hard, which honestly is probably why she didn't go through with it. So what do you guys think about the story? Please let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one.